Hey everybody, it's Ted Bedromo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an advanced search and save that search. So every week you get an email from LinkedIn and it gives you a list of people you can connect with that meet your search criteria. So it's a really good way. Once you know who your ideal client is, you can set up these searches and they literally run 24 hours a day and find people for you to connect with. Now you can do this manually. You just go up here at the top next to the search box over here. Let's click on the little advanced. And you can set this up to run one time and then go through and find those people. But this way it's running literally 24 hours a day for me. So let's say I'm going to look for someone that does video production or somebody that has that in their profile. So what I like to do is put it in quotes. Otherwise, if you don't, it can look for video or production. So this way it's looking for a phrase video production. And I'm going to look for second level connections. I'm going to search, let's just say I want to search San Francisco area. If you know the zip code, you can put it in here or you can look it up by clicking look up. And it'll take you to the US postal code lookup. So I'm going to put in, I know this is in, somewhere in San Francisco. Let's say I want to look 100 miles within San Francisco. Here I could actually type in San Francisco if I wanted. If you're looking for a certain company, so say I want to look for people that do video production at Oracle. And I could say other companies. So these are some maybe tech companies I'd want to get into. If they're looking for someone to help with video production. So let's just start there. And if I want to just do like an industry, I could pick a specific industry. You can search by people looking for people in schools. Those aren't really as relevant. I could search specific groups for these people if I wanted. I can look for people with more experience. So I'm looking for senior level people. I'd have to upgrade my account to access that. Same with function, accounting, administrative, arts and design. Those are different, more criteria I could search for. So let's say I'm looking for directors or managers of these companies. The other thing you could do is search by company size. So I've already put companies in here that I'm trying to search for, or I could search by company size if I really don't want to target specific. So using this current company, you're targeting people that are working there now, very specific companies. Here, if I chose to do larger companies, then I'm doing a broader search. So I could find companies I'm not aware of that would need video production or have video production. So let's just leave this blank for now. So what I would do is just click search. So here is 60 people that have video production here. And then I can just kind of go through. So he's a director of a production company there. So I might want to connect with him. See, there are all people who work at Google. So it's a pretty good search. It's got me pretty, pretty narrowed in. So if I really like this search, I can just click save search here and save it as video production. And every week I'll get a list. See, I've got one HP salespeople, sales executives, coaches, sales managers. So every week I get this big number of leads. So let me go back and change the search just to make it a little broader. So I won't target specific companies, but I'm going to go after companies, very large companies, because I know they may need consultants and they would have a budget. So here I search for this. So now there's 1,206 meeting that criteria. So managers and directors in larger companies and in the San Francisco Bay Area within 100 miles. And then here it actually tells you Specific locations I could search for all the US there's 1206 most are in the Bay Area because that's where I searched within 100 miles of and here's different companies 
So Apple, Cisco, Academy of Art, a couple of TV stations. So it, it's telling me exactly who's got the number of people. So 43 people at Apple. So I could search Apple then. And I can also expand my search here, go to maybe vice president. So you kind of play around with the searches until it's starting to give you people that you realize this is these are people I need to connect with. So interesting why Sam comes up. Oh, he works for that's funny. He works at Whole Foods, which is a large company. So this is an example of the search is always not being perfect. That's why you just want to keep, you know, honing in on what's the right criteria for you. And then when you find that perfect search, and with my account, I can do up to five saved searches. So I can save this as video production weekly. Click the checkbox here. And every week it's going to send me this, the search results for this. And what I would do, like say, I'm looking for a sales executive. So here's people that I'm connected with already that it found. So I need to modify my search. So I'll just change it to second level. And these are people I'd probably want to connect with. Sales learning consultant, sales manager, contact power sports. So I may want to connect with that person. And here I can say, get introduced, send them an email, save this, or I can just connect. So now see, it's not letting me customize the message anymore. Sometimes it lets me customize the message. Sometimes it doesn't, but just, you know, these are just the company sizes I'm looking to work with and the search criteria that's set up for this. So sales coach, sales management. So these are like more sales coaches now. So I have to modify this search because it's looking for, see it's looks, these look like specific coaches and I don't have the company size specified, but you get the idea. You just want to set up these searches and you can change them anytime you want. But every week I've got five searches running all the time. So if this is a person I think I'd want to connect with, I would connect with her. And if she does accept the invitation, then I could say, you know, we noticed you in a LinkedIn search and I thought it'd be good to connect. If there's anything I do, you send them, you know, that welcome message that's non-salesy just to get to know and start a conversation. So that's it. It's pretty easy to do. I highly recommend spending a lot of time in advanced search, get really good at it. And you may want to upgrade and test all these different criteria and see if it helps you really hone in on the right people for you. Now, literally, if, even if you pay for the most expensive account, which I think is $100 a month, it's $1,200 a year. If you get one client a year from these advanced searches, it more than pays for the $1,200. So definitely think about upgrading to you know, higher level. My account's like the lower level. Let me show you that real quick. So I'm in the business plan. I can do f the premium search filters, adds more fields here, profiles per search. I search, I see 300 now, which is plenty for what I need. But if you really need more, I mean, here it's $74 a month billed annually for the executive and you get up to 700 profiles every time you search. You can just save search 10 a day. So if you're really, really aggressive in your marketing, this is the way to go. Every day I'm gonna get a list of people I can connect to. And then here's reference searches, who's viewed your profiles. This is all the premium things that you get. Full name visibility, this might be worth it to you because this way you can see full names of people and really reach out to people get more in-mail messages, more introductions, and the open profile. So it lets anyone on LinkedIn see your full profile and message you for free. So this lets people connect with you or reach out to you without having to use an in-mail. So it basically says, I'm open to receiving emails from people. And you know, if it, I don't get that many solicitations, I do and I don't, but it's really nice that I can message people too that are in this open profile. So check out the premium accounts, get really good at your advanced search, set up those saved searches. And I highly recommend doing the professional accounts. And I may even upgrade to the executive, just to try it out for a few months and then maybe drop back to one of these lower levels. But there's lots of good features. And if you have any questions, reach out to me, ted at tedpadromo.com. Thanks a lot, everybody.